Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and today we're gonna walk through buying your first guitar online. Now, teaching guitar for so long, I know the challenges of buying your first guitar, and it's harder than ever, you know, because the idea of going into the going into a store and picking one out is a much more daunting task these days. Um, so fret not, Marty's here. I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know. Let's talk about it. Real quick, I wanna thank American Musical Supply for sponsoring this video. They truly are my favorite place to shop online, especially now when walking into a guitar store isn't always feasible. They ship from four warehouses across the US and for free. Most of the country gets their order in just two days. When staying home matters, they are the next best thing to shopping in person. So make sure to check out everything I'm showing you in this video at AmericanMusical.com. Links in the description. All right, right off the bat, there's three things that we wanna think about. Uh, first is, do you want to play an electric guitar or an acoustic guitar? Also, there's the overall playability of the guitar. How easy is it to press down and get tones out of it? And then third, it's the actual tonal characteristics of the, of the guitar. And there's lots of different kinds of sounding guitars. So we're gonna talk about all of that. So we're gonna head over to my favorite place to shop for gear, and that's American Musical Supply. They have a ton of great stuff on their site, but for beginners, a good start is one of their guitar packs. There's also that kind of age old debate saying, you gotta learn on acoustic before you switch to electric. And I actually feel like you can do either. And what's most important is what do you, uh, what do you feel inspired to play? When you close your eyes and you think of yourself playing guitar, are you holding an electric guitar and ripping a solo or are you strumming an acoustic guitar? That's something to think about. I think you can start on whichever one you prefer. All right, so let's look at some of their electric guitar packs. I'm opening this page here and we're looking at all the different guitar packs. And uh, the first one that grabs my attention right here is this Epiphone Les Paul Special 2 player pack electric guitar package. Now the guitar packages are different than just buying an individual guitar because you get everything you need to play right in one purchase, which obviously is great for a beginner or someone starting out. Kind of take some of the guessing work out. Um, so when I open up this page, you can see it comes with a, you know, a nice starter uh, amplifier that should be able to give you clean tones and also that distortion sound for rock. You know, you got everything. You got the cable, you got the picks. It also comes with a clip-on tuner and a cable and picks. You get the package, you open it up, and you don't need anything. You can rock. As we look through these other guitar packs, you can see that they're all relatively similar as far as what you get. Um, you know, the cable, strap, picks. Some of these packs have uh, smaller amps, you know, that aren't maybe going to give you that volume that you want right off the bat. Um, so ultimately, it boils down to what style of music you want to play and what your budget is. Now, if it was up to me starting out, I would go for this uh, Epiphone Les Paul Special 2 player pack. You get that classic Les Paul guitar, which is a great comfortable shape for playing, and especially for beginners. And then you also get the humbucker pickups, which are more of a, a rock and roll, a little bit heavier gain is what they call it, which gives you that kind of rock and distortion, which is always fun when you're first starting off being able to play like some nice classic rock riffs. Um, another thing about this uh, is the amp that comes with this pack is a nice entry level amp, but will still give you uh, enough volume to, to like, you know, really feel the music underneath your, your fingers. All right, if you have more of an acoustic sensibility, then I think we should head over to the acoustic packs and see what they have to offer. So we're looking at these acoustic uh, packs here, and there's some things to, to consider. Uh, one is, do you feel like you have to have a pickup in your acoustic guitar? In other words, a way to be able to take a guitar cable and plug it through an amplifier. Uh, also, there's the term cutaway, which is on an acoustic guitar, uh, there are certain models called cutaways where you have a piece right here cut out so you can reach the higher frets. Now, in my opinion, if you're just starting out on guitar, a pickup is not that important. So you can save uh, some money that way by not worrying about a pickup. And also the cutaway is more for lead guitar. So that's gonna be more when you're an intermediate player or you're starting to play melodies and guitar solos. And as I'm looking here, I see the Epiphone FT100 acoustic player pack with gig bag and accessories. So. I think that's a great start because you get a great price. And then you also, once again, have everything you need 
to play right out of the box. A little gig bag so you can, you know, protect the guitar and carry it around. Picks, straps, tuner, you know, the whole bit. And it's a great way to start. Now with this pack, you also have three different colors to choose from. So if you're a big Johnny Cash fan, you might wanna get that black one. Uh, if you're a traditionalist, you might like that natural wood color. Personally, I love the look of a sunburst and it still has a little kind of cool character to it. So if it was me, I would get the sunburst one. Now these guitar packs uh, can be great, but sometimes it gives you more than you actually need right off the bat, as well as uh, you know less ability to customize exactly what you want. So what I actually think and what I prefer is for you to go for more of an a la carte method where you get a guitar and an amplifier and then get the other things you need as you go along. So I'm uh, gonna go over to American Musical Supply and I'm gonna just show you my preferred rig for you guys to get. I prefer electric guitar because for me, it's just more fun. And especially I think about being a little, you know, a kid or a teenager starting to play and uh, just wanting a few cool rock riffs to get excited about it. So I think that's, you know, my preferred method to start on. And then I really like the Epiphone because, you know, I love that kind of traditional Gibson sensibility and they have the Gibson history and the, of course, the Les Paul name you get. Uh, humbucker pickups, great for rocking out. And then also because it's Epiphone, uh, you know, you get a, a huge value for what you're paying for. So let me show you what I would pick. So looking right here, there's this great affordable classic Epiphone Les Paul Studio LT, uh, you know, classic rock and roll guitar. If you like Led Zeppelin, is a perfect guitar. If you love Guns N' Roses and Slash, obviously he made the guitar iconic as well. So it's a great pick. Now, if you're a little more of an ACDC kind of person, right next here, SG Special VE, um, which, you know, is the, the preferred guitar of Angus Young. Um, both really affordable, super fun to start with. You know, and as you scroll, you just get higher quality options as you go along. I think a nice starter guitar is in the $500 to less price range. You're gonna get a nice solid guitar. So uh, Les Paul and SG are very similar guitars. They're gonna, the neck's gonna feel the same. The humbucker pickups are the same, but a Les Paul is a little bit meatier of a body. It's a little bit heftier of a guitar. SG has a kind of more feathery light feel. Some beginners might prefer a lighter feeling guitar for their playing, um, but also traditional rock and rollers like that kind of heavy body of a Les Paul. Um, it just feels more solid in your lap, but you're not gonna go wrong with either. I would say uh, Jim, uh, Jimmy Page or Angus, who do you prefer? And you can go from there. Now, if you have a little bit higher budget or you're interested in the payment plans at American Musical Supply, you could actually skip a few steps and get right up into this category. And what I'm playing here is an Epiphone 339. Cause I've got a little bit more of that kind of blues and jazz side of me, but then I also like, you know, playing rock. And so this is kind of like a hybrid between a Les Paul and more of a jazzy kind of guitar. So it's the 339, it's nice and solid like a Les Paul, but it's also got these F holes on the side, which uh, means that it's a semi-hollow guitar, semi-hollow body guitar, which just gives you a little bit more of a woody tonal characteristic, which I like because I can get a little more of a blues jazzy thing. <laughs> but I can still get kind of a Les Paul sound out of it too. Now, if you're gonna get a guitar a la carte, then you really need a great guitar amplifier. And I'm gonna go here and show you what I recommend, and that is the Boss Katana uh, Mark II 50 watt, which is a little more expensive than you know a starter amp, but it's actually 
an amazing amp because you get the volume you would need to actually play even with a drummer. So you get great volume, but you also get in all the built-in pedal style effects. Um, so you can immediately get some of your favorite rock star tones and song tones right out of the box without having to buy any uh, special pedals or other gear. Got the headphone jack, so you can play cranked without annoying uh, your neighbors or your parents, but you can unplug it to annoy them on purpose if you want, because you have enough volume to do so. Uh, the other thing that's so great is you get multiple sounds. So not only do you get um, the, the different types of amplifier sounds, for instance, an American style tube amp sounds very different than a British heavy rock amp like a Marshall. You get all those different sounds without having to buy more gear. And then the other thing is you have all the most classic type of pedal effects built into the amp. Now Boss, which makes the Katana, they also are one of the biggest pedal makers. So they actually use all that technology built into the amp. And so even if you're trying to learn like the difference between a phaser and a tremolo, you can get right in to the interface and learn about that. The other thing that is so cool about the Boss Katana is that you can get uh, pre-made sound patches which sound like famous songs. So even if you're a total beginner and you don't know how to blend effects to sound a certain way, you can actually find those patches that have been created already to sound like your favorite songs. So it's just, you know, it's, it's all kinds of winning. I love playing through it. Um, I can get a really clean, nice clean blues sound and I can go all the way to a Metallica style heavy metal sound without having one pedal. So it's just an awesome, awesome amp to get. So all of those features are amazing for an amp, but there's even more. There's a recording direct out, which what that means is you can actually take a cable from the back of the amp and plug it into a computer and record your sound and have it sound like the amp itself. Um, so, you know, recording yourself to, to hear how you're improving or to record a song or to even be able to record a solo over a riff all of that can be done without any outboard gear. And um, I use it for my videos and it works fantastic. Now I think that is a great value to get a really nice playing guitar and an amazing amp that gives you all the sounds and tones that you're really gonna need to start off with. And I think what's, what's important about that is if you have a really cool, solid guitar and a great sounding amp, it's gonna inspire you to wanna play it more. And you know, that's what it's really all about, learning guitar, is the more inspired you are to play it, the more you're gonna learn and the better you're gonna get. And you know, the better the chances are that you're gonna actually stick with it and go somewhere with it. The products I discussed in this video will be in the description below. So be sure to go down there and check them out. American Musical Supply has a huge range of products. So if there's any other gear you may want, head over to AmericanMusical.com. Thanks again for watching.